Good afternoon. Thank you for joining me for today's story. I'm going to be reading Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson. It's one of my favourites and I hope that you enjoy it too. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat and long ginger hair which she wore in a plait. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. How the witch wailed and how the cat spat as the wind blew so wildly it blew off the hat. Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely and then eagerly said as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head. I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped her broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and forests they flew. The dog wiped his tail, and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud, and held on to her hat. But away blew her bow from her long ginger plait. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched all around, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with the bow in his beak. He dropped it politely and bent his head low, and then said, as the witch tied the plait in a bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on a broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped her broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee, and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched all around, but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leapt a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely and then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on the folds of her cloak. I am a frog, as clean as can be. Is there room on a broom for a frog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the frog leapt on. The witch tapped her broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy, and... <gasps> the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into the bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into the cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I am a dragon, as mean as can be, and I'm planning to have witch and chips for my tea. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon grew near, drew nearer, licking his lips, and said, Maybe this one shall have witch without chips. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of the ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads, it had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice, when it started to squeak, was a yowl and a growl, and a croak and a creak. It dripped and it squelched, and it strolled from the ditch, and it said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch! The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered, I've made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings 
and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, well thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you I'd be in that dragon's inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone. The bird found a twig and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose a truly magnificent broom. With seats for the witch, the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped her broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. The end. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.